Hey guys, uh, in this video I thought I would show you how to install VirtualBox on Fedora 22. Now Fedora does come with its own uh, virtual machine, so if we go into the applications, go to all, you do go and you do see Boxes. Now Boxes is a virtual machine, but I, I personally do not like this uh, because it doesn't have a lot of features that I've been used to. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to do uh, install VirtualBox. So there are two ways of doing this. So if we go to VirtualBox uh, website and go to downloads, and then there should be a section for Linux hosts. You should see Fedora 22. You can either do the 32-bit version which is this or the AMD 64 so if we click on it and you can open this up in software uh, but again I've been unable to install anything under uh, under the software center under Fedora so or you can save it and then install locally uh, there's also another way of doing it uh, if you if you go down here we can get the repo that uh, that uh, that Fedora that uh, VirtualBox has set up. So if we close this up, here's the repo. So you just download Virtual Fedora VirtualBox repo. So if we open up our our terminal here. We uh we just need to go into root, so you just do an su. So we just need to change directory into Etsy slash yum dot repos dot d. Now if we list this out, you can see all the repos that are installed onto your uh, onto your Fedora machine. So you have the RP RPM Fusion here. Uh, I have installed the repo, the one we're showing you right now. So uh, let's just uh, continue. So the next thing you want to do is wget this uh, this thing. So you're wgetting to downloads.virtualbox.org, and so you just want to click enter. It will ask you there. So you want to do a DNF update just to update the, the repo list and I'll get back to you when that's done okay so once that is updated you would want to install a few dependencies on here so you do want to install the bin utils GCC make patch so this list here and I will put this in a description below uh, so you want the kernel headers, kernel dash devel, and then dkms. So you want to make sure that these are installed because that's what uh, VirtualBox uh, goes off of. So you make sure you want to uh, uh, have these installed. Again, I do have these installed. So once that is done, then you can go DNF install VirtualBox and then once that's installed uh, I, again I have this installed you can uh, open up uh, VirtualBox and use uh, and use it just like that so that's uh, how I, I just wanted to show you this because in my next video I actually am going to show you guys uh, a three-part uh, video series on how to install Arch Linux the way that I have been installing it for the last two years so I have taken it uh, I have taken uh, my steps from the beginners guide and also a, from a few friends in a, a video also so that's what uh, will be coming next video so if you guys have any comments or any suggestions, please put them down in the comment section, and I'll catch you guys next time.